Hi, I'm George, and we're going to edit the Minecraft logo on this opening title screen. If you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and let's get started. Okay, we're here on my desktop, and the first thing you need to do is to make a working folder to build your resource pack in. I already have one made, let me bring that up. There it is. I just made one called title, and I put it on my C drive right there to say blank folder to work in. Now the next thing you need to do is to get the vanilla resource pack and it's in the jar file. Let me bring up a folder for that and for that let's bring Minecraft's launcher up. There we go. Go into installations right here and then over here right hand side look for that folder. Click on that. This will then bring up the Minecraft folder. There it is. And in here you want to come down to where it says versions and that's right there. Go inside of versions. Find your version of the game. I'm in 1.16.5 right now which is right there. Go inside of that and then you want the jar file. Now if you don't see .jar, go over here to view and click on file name extensions. You'll then see the .jar. Okay, let me bring back up our other folder. There it is. I'm just going to now copy the jar file. Just right drag that over here and copy into our working folder. Okay, that's taken care of. We can now get this out of the way. Now we need to open this up. We can do that just by renaming this. I'm going to change the view here to large icon, make it easier to see. Let's just type over that dot jar and make it say dot zip and then choose yes. There we go. It's just a zip file now. At this point, I'm going to right click on this and I'll choose open in new window. And here we go. This is going to be what's inside of that jar file. Now there are a couple of things we need in here. The first thing I want to bring over though is the pack MC meta file and the pack PNG. And that's on this first screen. So I'll scroll way down. It's down towards the bottom down in the P's section right here. Back up just a little bit and there we go. You want that file and you want that file. I'll just right drag those over here and copy. We'll be using those later. Now scroll back to the top and go inside of assets, inside of Minecraft, inside of textures, inside of GUI, inside of title right here. And I'll set this for large icons again. And the one you want is the minecraft.png right here. But we want to put this in the right location, and that's up here. Assets, Minecraft, Textures, GUI. So let's make that in our working folder. I'll put that right here so you can see it. Let's go over in here, and we're just going to copy that. So let's go over to Home, make a new folder, and I'll call this one Assets. There it is. Go inside of Assets, New Folder, Minecraft. Inside of Minecraft, New Folder, Textures. There we go. Inside of Textures, New Folder, GUI. There it is, Inside of GUI, New Folder, Title. There we go, Inside of Title, and right here is where you want to copy this file over. So I'll just right drag that in here and copy. There it is. You can see there it is. There's our Minecraft. It's divided into two pieces. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. But first, I want to get a texture to use as well. And for this, I'll put this back in the working folder right here because we're not going to be including it in the resource pack. So it's back out of here, back to, out of GUI and textures. Inside of textures, go into block. And in here, I'm going to change the view here to large icons. Again, they're going to be real small. This just makes it easier to see. And the one you want is the mossy cobblestone. We'll be giving the title a kind of a mossy look. And that's going to be right in here someplace. I'm going to click, there we go, mossy cobblestone. You can just right drag that over here and copy. And there it is. Okay, let's now close that zip file down we're taken care of, and that's it. We now have everything we need to go ahead and edit that title and give it a kind of a mossy look. Now I'm going to be doing this inside of paint.net, which is a free program, and it's a great program for doing this kind of work here for Minecraft. It's everything you need for your basic Minecraft stuff. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'll bring up paint.net. And now we're inside of paint.net, and here's our working folder. You can just drag images in here. So I'll take the Mossy Cobblestone and I'll just drag it in like this and open. There it is. These are real small files. So I'll zoom in a bit so you can see that. There it is. And let's bring back up the working folder. And let's go ahead and find the Minecraft logo file. And that's all the way inside here. There it is. Same thing. Just drag it over here and open. And there we go. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in on this one, make it nice and large. Now here it is. This is the basic logo. As you can see, Minecraft uses the first part up here on the left-hand side and this part as the right-hand side. If you want to have something else in there, just make sure you do it like this. At the middle part right here is for your left-hand side and this section is for your right-hand side. And you can then go ahead and do your own title if you want to or any other art you want to up there. If you're on Realms, of course, that's this one right down below here. But we'll just be using this same lettering, the same logo 
but changing it to a mossy look instead of this just kind of a flat rock look. Now for that we need to go back over here to our mossy image and we need to increase the size of this. So go up to image, come down to resize, and just make this say 32 instead of 16. Choose OK. It's just a little bit bigger. Click on that and then go up here to edit and copy. Then go over here to our Minecraft logo image and you want to do edit and paste into new layer. It makes a new layer and it puts it right inside the new layer. We now need to copy this and make a bunch of copies in here. It's still selected. So edit and copy. Of course, the control C keyboard shortcut also works. We'll be using that. And then edit paste. That's the control V keyboard shortcut. And here's our copy. There we go. And same thing, control C and control V makes another copy. And we'll just make a whole bunch of these. Control C, control V, and do this until we've covered this thing up. Control C, control V. Pull that over. That goes just beyond that. That's fine. And keep on doing that. Control C, control V, and then just fill this in. So this nice pattern filled in here, Control C, Control V. The reason I'm doing Control C first is I want to copy the one that's right there. So that I'm just making a real sharp pull like that. Make sure they line up correctly. And then just keep on doing that, Control C, Control V, and then moving them into position until we cover up the whole Minecraft logo. Okay, that's good. One more line of these, and we'll have that all finished. This is actually the longest part of this whole process is just doing this. It's not really that much work. There we go. Put that right there. And one more should do it. And there we go. Okay. Now we can deselect and that's edit, deselect. Hide that layer just for a moment. Come down here to the background layer and they'll be using the magic wand right here to select all of our letters. Now click on the first one and then go up here and change this to add. It's that button right there. And I have mine set at 50% tolerance. That's the default. And then just click in the rest of the letters, make sure that every piece is selected. You're just going for the gray part of this. There we go, it's now selected. Let's go back up here to our top layer, show that top layer again, and that's the inside section. We want to invert this selection. So that's edit, and then invert selection, and then just hit the delete key. And it deletes all that out. And there we go, there's our mossy look Minecraft logo already taken care of. Now we need to save this file out. So I'll do a file save first. This will save it into the same location you can see right here. But it's going to save this as a paint.net file. I'm doing that because that saves the layers over here. If I want to come back and do something else later, it's already partially done for me. Okay, I'll save it that way. And then go up here to File and then Save As. And this time you want to change this to the PNG file format. Choose Save. It's going to ask to overwrite. Choose Yes. And then just OK. And Flatten. And there we go. That's now done. We have our new mossy look for our Minecraft title. Again, you could have changed your color in here, even changed the whole thing if you want to, but that's how you edit this one file. Okay, now we can go back to our working resource pack and finish that off and put that into the game. Okay, let's just close this down. We don't need to save anything in there. Already done. And there we go. There's the PNG file. This is going to be our resource pack file. You can leave the paint.net file in here. That's not going to make any difference. Okay, let's go back here to your working folder. And we have our pack.png, that's good. If you want to make this your own image, you can go ahead and do that. This is a 128 by 128 pixel PNG file. I'll be leaving this one just as is. If you want to change the title of your pack, that's right inside here. I have mine set to open up inside of Notepad++, which is a great free program for editing these things. Just double click, opens it up here. It's already the right format right there, because of course we opened this from the jar file for our current version. And right here, inside of those quotes, if you want to change the name, you can do it right here. I'll call it custom title logo. Choose save. And that's done. Okay, now let's zip this whole thing together. So grab the assets folder, hold the control key down, get your pack.mcmeta and the pack.png. All selected. Go up to share. Click on zip. There it is. Give it a name. I'll just call it custom title logo, and we're all set to go. We can now put this inside of the game. Now for that, we need to bring back up that other folder. So go back up here, click on that folder icon right here. That brings up the Minecraft folder. Now come down to resource packs. It's right here. Go inside of that. There's my resource packs in here. Bring back up our other working folder, and then take your new zip file and just drop it in there, and you're all set to go. Okay, let's now close this down and take a look at our change in the title on the game. Just get this out of the way, get that out of the way. I'll just hit play right here, launches Minecraft, and as soon as that launches, it'll go to the title screen, 
and then we'll see how the title has changed, the logo has changed, so it's now that mossy version of the logo. Okay, here's the title screen. All we need to do now is to activate that resource pack, so come down to Options, go into Resource Packs, and there's our new custom logo right here. There's the title that we did inside of that pack.mc meta right there. Click on that arrow, it's over here now, click on Done. It's going to reload that pack, and then we should see our new version of that Minecraft title as soon as the title screen comes back up again. Choose Done, and there we go. There's our new Mossy version of that Minecraft title. So that's how you edit that logo on the title screen. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and I'll see you next time.